What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a cool, dare I say cold, fall evening here in Finley, Ohio, and the Ginger Yeti and I are checking out A Beer in a Beer Shed. Now, the beer we have today is called Cookie Exchange Milk Stout, and this is from Great Lakes Brewing out of the land, Cleveland, Ohio, Anderson's hometown. It's not my hometown, it's where I've lived. It's the town you a... live in. It's been, been my town for quite a few years. What's your hometown? And you know, what you do you know... consider your hometown? Tennessee or something? I don't really have one because I lived so many different places over the years. I win. Cleveland is his hometown. So we're going to try this and, one. And you know what's cool up in Cleveland? What's that? We have full propane tanks. Uh, yeah, I forgot to fill the <laughs> propane tank and now we're freezing out in the beer shed. But look, I still but have a short sleeve shirt. I'm I have right. I have lived in, in Lakewood, which is the, the suburb on the west side of Cleveland, mm. for probably the longest amount of time of my life. Therefore, hometown. You got to ride with it. So. Fair enough. We're going to check this bad boy out. And this is, like I said, uh, Cookie Exchange Milk Stout, 5.5% ABV, which is not super high no. for a, a, a stout, like a winter kind of stout. Which is nice. 15 IBUs. Um, Ratings-wise, does pretty good. 389 on untapped. This is relatively new. Um, I actually saw this at the local shop, and my wife's work was doing a cookie exchange. So she demanded that I buy this beer so she could give one to her co-worker as kind of like a joke. And I thought, cool, I'll drink the other five. No problem. Um, so we've had this here. And I guess we'll see what it's like. I mean, it is kind of a funny joke. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know. It's, now, over, it's... over the course of your uh, sweet career in brew tubing, mm -hmm. you've done, what, four or five different Great Lakes beers? Yeah, I've done But a it's few. been quite a while because most of the ones you did were early on when went back in the... Uh, the times we don't discuss where you weren't allowed to go anywhere. The before times. It was the during times. <laughs> that, yeah. That, that time frame between the before time and the, and the current time. When we had that <laughs> thing, right, that no one could talk about. When yes. They ban you on YouTube and everywhere else. Yeah. Yes. Well, I will say this. The reason that I don't do Great Lakes is they're, you know, they're one of them breweries that was a big deal micro microbrewery that no longer is a microbrewery. In my opinion, they're macro at this point, right? I mean... You can probably get Great Lakes in most places. And maybe this is like beer snobbery or maybe I'm just a clown. But like once you get too big and you get the beer everywhere, I kind of lose like a little bit of interest in it. Not that I don't want to try the beers, but I don't know. I'm less interested in doing videos on beers on stuff that's like everyone and their mother can get it at Walmart. You know what I mean? And that's, I guess, where you kind of lose me, I guess. And for me, a lot of the Great Lakes beers are ubiquitous they're everywhere in ohio and i think like what's unique about it but they're still good and i think maybe i i it's something that's a flaw in me that i overlook them well i don't i don't know if we've ever discussed this on on one of your videos but we have discussed it at least personally in the past you like mm. there's breweries because because hop frog was it hop and frog is another one we see them all the time yeah so you like pass up on them to find other unique beers even though they're good. They're good beers, and they now, have now, some, look, some unique stuff. To be fair, but we're like, they, oh, we they see were it all terrible the time. when they first came out. Like I remember buying them when they first came out. I hated their beers. Now they are like world class. Like they do amazing stuff now. Same with Arche. Right. When Arche first came out, they were, I thought they were trash, and now like some of my favorite beers are Arche beers. Now I don't know if my taste change or you know maybe different brewers or different beers or maybe it's just kind of living experience and you get better at what you're doing. But you see some of these beers on the shelf, and you see them all the time. Like, oh, that's yeah, yeah. I can get that anytime. I get that anytime. They're yeah. they're doing great, whatever. Yeah. But you still need to stop and pick up some of these beers from some of these bigger. Yeah. Well, I mean, craft you know, brewers or I don't know, whatever you want to call them, because they aren't they aren't Bud Miller cores. Sure, of course. But they are becoming some well, heavyweight hitters. But if you don't support them, they'll go away. Right. Exactly. So this again is going to be a nice milk stout, which I love. Probably one of my favorite styles. Five point five decent. Low ABV for something like that. 15 IBUs, untapped 389, pretty good score. I'm ready to tear into this. Let's get into it. Now, one thing I will say, it says Cookie Exchange Milk Stout. Treat yourself to our seasonal milk stout brewed with a special rotating cookie-inspired flavor. So I don't think I've had this last year. I don't remember seeing this. I mean, maybe it was around. But I guess the idea is, do they change the cookie that it's supposed to be each year? It's, that's what it makes it sound like to me. It looks nice going into It does into look the, nice. Going into the very fancy jam jar. And the can just has kind of like the Christmas trees and you know they remind me of those remember getting them little boxes. When I was a kid Yeah, the little Christmas cookies. Yeah. And they were chocolate and they have all them little sprinkles on them. When I was a kid you'd get them around Christmas. And I, I don't remember you went there was like a special bakery in Philly that used to have them. 
And the only place I would ever get them, I didn't get crap as a kid. I never had them. But people would bring them to school. Like if you're if you weren't a degenerate, your mom would bring in some cookies, and like you know you got to try them. And I'd be, have like two of them, and then go back to sucking at my house. But <laughs> every once in a while, you get these little cookies, and they were really good. So I'm hoping that that's what it tastes like. All right, color. I'm just going black, bro. I can't see through that. No, not at all. I can't um, see through that. If I break out my brew HQ chart, I don't, 40 or damn near close. I mean, you get a little bit of a cola color when you put the light on it, but this is like the depths of the abyss. You only get like this much of the, the light shining through, and it's black up here, bro. In that bit of light, though. Cola color. You get that little amber hue. Yeah, but is there also like micro chunks floating around? Oh, I didn't notice. I see. I can see a few bubbles on yours. Oh yeah, there's some. Yep, 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 yep. There's something floating around in there. Definitely little micro chunks of. Now it could just be this beer is super cold. Hopefully, spices and goodness. Because it's in a cooler covered in ice in a freezing cold beer shed. So maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Dark. I'm and hoping it's it's cookie spices and cookie bits and big nice frothy head, man. Khaki colored. Looks really nice. Yeah, that was a, definitely a nice head, and it's kind of it's sticking around. Yeah, it's not really going anywhere. Yeah, give it a sniff. Oh wow, what you getting? <sighs> Cookie vanilla, like not the weird vanilla from that one beer that we just had, but more of like a cookie dough kind of cookie. Yeah, Christmas cookie kind of vanilla. Maybe like a, a vanilla sugar. Cookie Sugary. Kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, exactly. It smells good. I'm hoping that God this does taste like those little cookies. Like it's like a vanilla cookie with a chocolate outside, and then the little—they're not Jimmys or sprinkles. They're the little balls. You know what I mean? Them little. What do they call them? Like non perials or some crap like that. I don't yeah, mess some kind of French name. I don't mess around with little balls. He only likes big ones. You set yourself up there, right? I did set myself up for you that. You ready? Let's get it. Cheers. Cheers. I should have made an ACDC joke, but the time sweet, has passed. Sweet. You pick up, is a milk stout, you pick up that nice sweet milk milk presence that was it lactose or whatever presence. Yes. Yeah, delicious. Bit of chocolate. Bit of vanilla. I mean, that does taste like cookie in a weird way. Yeah. In a weird way, it does taste like the Christmas, kind of a, like a Christmas cookie. I'll tell you what I wish we had done. I wish we'd taken this out so it wasn't so cold. I don't know about you. I like my stouts kind of more like room temperature. Now, this room is freezing, so maybe it wouldn't make a difference, but. What do you think of the body, though? Body, usually what I go to first, the body is a bit thin yeah. for a stout. Guinness, then? Slightly not, above it? Not quite Guinness thin, but the body is thin. Yeah. I will say this. I like my milk stouts or like sweeter dessert stouts to be like nice, viscous. Like yes. for me, Arche does the best of those kind of big sweet stouts around here. Yes. I think Ar Arche nails the body and the flavor. Absolutely. On this, the flavor, banging. Yes. Body, maybe a little bit to be desired, but it's not a negative so much that it would distract you. It's still a hell of a good beer. No, but they will get dinged a little bit for mm. for the body. It should be a little... I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I would like a little especially, bit more... Especially a milk stout. A Christmas kind of thing. You expect that yeah, bigger Yeah, Christmas fuller. milk stout and cookie exchange, cookies and milk. Mm. So you'd want some of that thicker, almost like, like milky... Dip, dipping a cookie yeah, in milk yeah, kind of yeah, kind of deal. Yeah. But that flavor is on point. Yeah, I mean, the flavor is delicious. And it, it does actually kind of remind me of those weird little cookies. Like... They're blue on here, but like when I was a kid, they were obviously chocolate coated. These little balls on them, and then they were like a nice uh, sugar cookie, kind of vanilla yeah. cookie on the inside. And I think if that's what they were going for, they nailed, they nailed it. the flavor. Absolutely right? nailed that. That that is on point there. You know, I am guilty of, of also passing up on Great Lakes. Um, I used to go to the Great Lakes Brewery or bar, whatever you want to call it, in the airport, mm -hmm. the Cleveland airport. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't go there anymore because I'm a little fancy. But Oh, he's in the lounge <laughs> now. This guy's in the lounge. And they just bring you out. What do they give you in the lounge? What do you get? Like a... Free beer. Stella Artois or some crap? What do they give you in there? It depends on what lounge you're in. 
What did they give you in Cleveland? The airport. What did they give you in the CLA? Was that Hopkins? No, I think I had Heineken what's, or something. What's it called sense. over there? Is it Hopkins? Yeah, Hopkins. Hopkins International? I think they had like Budweiser and Heineken and Stella or something on draft. Detroit is my favorite one because they got they got a couple of things that I quite like. They got a, uh, what's it called? The chicken spot is in there. Um, Popeyes? Popeyes. Oh, I love Popeyes. They got Popeyes in there. And they got a number of good breweries right in the Detroit one. They have, what's the one from uh, Jolly Pumpkin is in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they have, they used to have North High. I'm not sure if they're still in there because I think the last time I flew, no, I went out to Detroit. But I think they were closed over there. I think, was it North High in there or who was the other one? No, Land Grant. It's Land Grant and uh, Jolly Pumpkin, I think. Well, my, there. my next video coming out, if I ever get a chance to edit it, finish editing it, is it, from, uh, hmm. from the lounge in uh, uh, D.C. and Dulles International. Little. Oh, okay. So that should be interesting. What, I, we, what do you, will you say what beer it is? Or is Hoppy a, Like a Fox, I believe is what it was called. From that? A brewery I'd never heard of before. And they had a DC? But somebody recently just re reviewed one. I can't remember one who it was. One of the guys we follow? Yes, yes, oh, okay. yes. Interesting. So let me ask you this. Cookie Exchange Milk But still? I started to say, I'm, I'm guilty of not buying their beers regularly. Because you see them everywhere. I mean, it's it's probably a, a ten minute drive to the brewery. I was there right before uh, Halloween. Well, I guess back at the end of September, I went to the brewery for a beer. Mm. And it's a cool brewery. It's a nice spot. I mean, if you're in the Cleveland area, definitely check it out. And there's a bunch of breweries. There's four or five breweries around Great Lakes, but I definitely check the place out. Mm -hmm. uh, their food's good, and it's a cool spot. So what it's do you in think? The hip area. This this is a big thumbs up. This is delicious. Good job, Great Lakes. This is this is now, a really good I beer. I will say this. I know we're knocking up. the body, and you think maybe the ABV is a tiny bit lower than what you'd expect. Maybe this is a perfect Christmas beer because you're not going to have three and fall out the door. You know what I mean? Like you can actually have a few at the cookie exchange and still be functional. I like the lower ABVs because I want to. If I want to get some beers in, mm -hmm. I don't want to be falling on the floor. I do eventually, just not after five. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So for me, cookie exchange, big thumbs up. Um, you know, sorry, Great Lakes, that I. I guess it's been a while since I did one. I don't. I think I like most of the beers. The one I don't like is that uh, what's the one oatmeal stout they did? The Ohio City. Yeah, I don't like that one. It's an oatmeal stout. I'm not a fan of it. I don't know why. But most of their beers I think are really good. Um, I used to get the mixed twelve pack. You know that mixed one with yes. like Dortmund or Gold. Dortmund or Gold I quite like. I think they do a lot of really good beers, and I don't know. Maybe I gotta revisit them and see what they got. Definitely. I don't know if I did a video on Nosferatu. I might have to check that out. I think, like you might, I think you might have. Maybe I did. I don't know. It's been a while. We need to find the Blackout Stout. That would be a fun one. <laughs> and Blackout on it. <laughs> <laughs> so two thumbs up for Cookie Exchange Milk Stout. Great job on this one, Great Lakes. I actually have a Great Lakes Brewing shirt. You know the Dickie shirts? Yeah. I bought one from them. It was supposed to be like a 3X. And it might be a 3X in the Philippines, brother. But it is not a 3X in <laughs> it's, America. It's a European 3X? Bro. <laughs> it don't come close to fitting. All my other Dickie shirts are 3X, no problem. That thing is like this. I come in looking like fat guy in a little shirt, bro. It does not fit. So, but I wish it did because I love the damn shirt, but it's too small. That's, look, that's an aside. Regardless, awesome job with this beer. Two thumbs up. Hopefully you liked the video. You give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. We appreciate it. Hit subscribe on mine and also check out the Ginger Yeti's channel. A link will be down below. He's still climbing up. He just started his channel recently, so we're trying to get him uh, more subs so he can, you know, I don't know. You feel good about it. At least, you know, people don't completely hate you if you have a, a few <laughs> subs, right? I mean, you know, that's the name of the game. We ain't ever going to make money off this, but it's fun to just say, hey, man, we got some folks that like us. We like drinking beers with you. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.